guys, Ken here. Time to talk about the latest Anomaly Drones Mosquito Raptorial. This is the lightweight version. Check this out. We've got some holes and things cut into the carbon. Look at the lightning effect. Yes. So, the previous version of the Raptorial is awesome. However, it is a little bit on the heavy side. It's a tank. It is built really tough really easy to work on, really good protection for the ProSight components, but it was a little bit on the heavy side. This new frame is about 110 grams, and I didn't check the all up weight of this particular machine, but you know, it varies from machine to machine. Everybody's builds are different with the exception of ProSight, which this is designed for, but I've got a fairly lightweight antenna, but I've got a heavy camera lens, I've got heavy motors, I've got a lot of heavy stuff on here. All steel screws. I'm not messing around with aluminum screws or anything like that. I don't really make efforts to make it light per se. I'm just using this particular setup because this is what I like. I found these uh, tail glass, is that how you say that? Tail glass antennas. These work really well. I couple them with the racing antenna mount that Amamon Connex makes. I take off the little patch antennas that it comes with and I put these on instead because these seem to work better and they're tougher and the wires are short and it's just good all around. This thing is really flexible. Uh, I've crashed several times with this antenna and it holds up really well and so I'm pretty happy with it and they're cheap. I think these little guys are like seven bucks a piece from DigiKey or Mauser or whatever you want to use. Um, but the way that they reduce the weight in this machine I thought was really awesome and it just it, it's very it's a very stylish machine which is which is cool I mean it, it may, maybe it shouldn't matter that much for mini quads but I think I think it matters it matters to me and uh, the, the way that they make the way that they implement the weight reduction here just ends up looking kind of cool you know it's very organic it's a very organic shape and it's it's done in such a way that uh, you know it's attractive you can see that the inboard end of the of the arms is hollowed out in the center so it still provides the support and rigidity that you need for its two mounting points but it's hollowed down in the center and you can see the the portion there in the center that's sort of been removed and you can see the outline of the arm through the hole in the bottom plate which just looks cool you you get a little bit more cooling for your 4-in-1 ESC as well with this new design which is great the air can flow through the bottom plates a lot better and you can see the components sort of peeking through and this, as usual, these machines are super easy to work on. You just loosen these two screws here and here, and this pod slides forward and up and off. Super easy. And as always, really great pro site protection. And just wanted to give a shout out for Anomaly Drones for getting this to me quickly. And I can't wait to fly it. It looks super cool. It looks like a bug, you know. Um, it's a really good looking mini quad. And now it's pretty lightweight. And these things, this thing flies great. I don't know why, but for some reason this machine is fast. Maybe it's aerodynamics or, or whatever, but I noticed immediately using the same equipment, going from previous machines to the to the Mosquito, I just immediately picked up speed. Same camera angle, same motors, you know, everything is the same, and it, it just it just picked up speed. So check out anomalydrones.com. They've got four different machines now, and they're all super smartly designed. They've the Strider and the Mosquito. And they all provide really good uh, performance and uh, protection for ProSight. And ProSight's expensive, so we like to keep it protected. And these machines are doing about the best job of that that I've seen on any, any machines so far. So check out AnomalyDrones.com. And if you don't mind, hit the thumb up or even the thumbs down on my video. Just let me know what you think. Happy flying.